What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. I think I fixed the microphone. I figured out it had some kind of noise gate on. So let me know if you guys think it's better if it still has that. I don't want to say crackling noise. It was like a popping noise. I think I fixed it. Hopefully I did. Well, in today's video, I want to go with something different. It's a website that's been around for a long time frame. It's been around a lot longer than Market Movers, and it actually costs less than Market Movers. It's 18 bucks a month. I used it probably for, I don't know, it's probably been a good, good bit of five, maybe eight years. I forget. It's been a long time. I went away with it for about four months this year for the fact I was doing a lot of my own tracking on a spreadsheet. And I went back to it, and they've added some things to it. To which you can now um, get alerts when stuff sells and all that. But I'm going to pull it up here on a screen. And again, I'm not affiliated with this at all. I have no discount codes for it, so I do apologize. At the same time frame, I'm not getting kickbacks like Market Movers does for a lot of people. But I really dig this site because it was like the original one out there and everybody was using it one time frame. So let me grab it here and pull it up. Alrighty, let me just make it a little bit bigger here in the screen for everybody. There we go. So as you guys can see up here top, VCP. And I mean, it goes through what all they do. Um, but let me start off here. There's a search up here. So just let's just say I want to look up 1954. It, it could be anything. I'm just using something quick. Tops. Uh, we'll just put in Hank. Oops. There we go. Hank. Uh, that's his rookie here. So I click on it pulls up everything. I need to know all the PSA sales by You know their stuff SGC GI GAI which I haven't seen in a very long time uh, Beckett either one BBG BGS and then your PSA Q which is your autographed authentication So if you just have a you know, you go out there and you get like Hank Aaron to sign a rookie card, you know, right there is where it's at. If it's graded, you know, there's all kind of different things on to it. So to where you add on to value. But let's just say I have a Hank Aaron PSA 6. Right now they're trending down like most of the market. I mean, nines are going up, but we're going to go to sixes. So I could click on the top row here is your high. That's your median, and that's your what's low been. So this gives you pretty much what all the sales have been. So I click on it, pull it up. I have my graph. You won't see this unless you have an account with them, just so everybody knows. And I could do six-month view onto it, and it shows me where stuff's been selling onto it. It gives me an idea. Average price, all the Ebays, the seller. This was done by Heritage. I forget who REA is. Another love of the game, mile high. Uh, Huggins and Scott. It's all auctions. So it also tells you if it was uh, bought outright auction right here, 29 bids. It gives you some ideas on it. Now remember the bins on here might not show best offers. So you'll have to really dig into that and try to figure it out, which I'm sure they're working on offhand. And if you really look, I mean, there's a big long graph here from 2007 on. It just shows you how this stuff has gone on. If you pull it up the whole way, look back here in January, or let's go with, hmm, I got into Kentucky right around here. So I could have bought a Hank Aaron PSA 6 for $1,100 back then. And you can start seeing where it starts creeping up through time, where it's hit some huge high points and everything else. Really, really great tool. Um, you can play with all kinds of different settings on here, just like you would anywhere else. And this, we're going to use this on uh, this Friday night's uh, overtime, too, because I want to talk some of the cards and stuff onto it. Now, this updates the day after. It's not like as soon as something goes off, it's on here. So everything that was done on the 21st is already loaded up on the 22nd. So to, like today's stuff will load up tomorrow. I think it's like late afternoon offhand. So I can go back up here. You can go to your collection. I just started throwing stuff in here offhand. I have what I call long-term, short-term holds. And let's go to long-term. So with long-term, when I'm looking at it, 
Like this is my Acuna Refractor PSA 10 Auto. I have 40 bucks into it. It's current value they come up with. That's my net, and that's the huge percent I would make on it. At the same time frame, it hasn't picked up this other PSA 10 because the person didn't put in it was a PSA auction with a certain number, but one did sell for 4300 I know because I was watching it, but I can't just add that in here. And I can edit stuff, trash it, you know, all kinds of stuff. I can look for, uh, you know, stuff being sold onto it. It just goes through here and shows you like the 89 Griffey's down to 435. I mean, I only have 40 bucks really into it, cost of grading and what I paid for the box. But then there's my net. All that stuff's on here. It's kind of cool um, with it. And you can change stuff around onto it. I just really don't. I can print it off for shows. That way I have an idea where VCP is on to. And a lot of times I line stuff out because some of the auctions were bid and it kind of gives me where I need to be at on stuff. And I used to use this a lot for the card shows, and I'll show you short term, you know, just some stuff onto there. The Jaw Orange Scripts, no PSA 9 sold of it. There's a Pache's where they were at selling. And I know this comp sold, it's like seven months ago, eight months ago, something like that. You can see Lou Bob's are saying that they're averaging $71 over the last, I want to say it's 30 days or 60 days, but we all know they're around below 50 bucks now. Uh, but yeah, it, it has some kind of cool stuff on to it. There is a market report, which I like, because I can sort it by sport up here, and I can see what's hot percentage-wise. All right, 90, 1990 Frank Thomas, oh, that's an auto. Let's find something. Let's go basketball. Everybody likes basketball. Olajuwon Fleer Rookies, PSA 7, up 902%. So, I mean, I could click on this. I could see, well, why is it going up? Oh, I guess it is. You know, you could do your own research onto this stuff. Oh, this is second year. I'm sorry, second year. I don't know why I was thinking it was his rookie. But if you start looking, you know, somebody bought one at $5.99 and shopped to $59.99. Could be a glitch, you know, never know offhand. But it, it, to me, when I look at this, the average is more probably about 20 bucks for the card offhand than it is 29 because they're taking it back to uh, this date here. And I believe it's almost over a year. But it, you could do your own stuff onto this. I mean, I could sit there and go three month. I can do one month. But, you know, it just gives you an idea of three months where it's been at and where it's gone up a little bit, too. Uh, and there's their average there. It tells you based on the last 12 months of sales and stuff like that. But it gives you an idea on the stuff here. Now, let's go back to this Elijah one. Say, oops, one more screen back. If I wanted to go buy one, I could click on buy, and it's going to show me, you know, everything that's out there for sale onto it, and the price is onto it. Now, like this one here is a PSA 8 higher grade, but it gives you an idea, and you can flip through it. You can go all grades. You can just put, oh, I, that's PSA queued. Uh, if I want an 8, it'll pull all my 8s up here. You know, it's kind of cool because then I can just go directly to that eBay piece onto it and put a bid on it, and you can catch some steals on this stuff. You can go look at what's been cold onto here. At what they consider is dropping in value. And it's basically, you know, some of the sales, somebody might have hit something really low and, you know, messed up the population. And you can really look into stuff like RJ Barrett Prisms, PSA 10s, 82 bucks. Look, somebody bought one for $449. I'm guaranteeing that's a silver. And somehow it made it onto here because the person put it in wrong on their listing. But you can tell they've been averaging around 80, probably about 80 bucks offhand. And 82.31 average. Go back one. Where did that RJ Barrett go to now? They hide them on me. I can hit buy. Go up here, hit PSA 10s. And these are all the auctions where they're at, how much time's left on to it. You know, it gives you an idea offhand. I mean, you can do a lot of this stuff on your own on eBay and search. But what I used to do on here, I used to look at these cold things on here 
And I would find things going, wow, that's really dipping in price a good bit. And I'd start looking. And you got your top 25 stuff on to here. This is something I wanted to, we're going to talk about, too, on Friday. The 1997 Upper Deck Game Jersey's Michael Jordan. PSA 8 sold for $2 million. You're probably like, oh, that's an eBay auction. No, it really was not. This was done by Golden, I want to say. Golden Auction. And if you go back, PSA 7, 1.4 million. So if you guys are sitting on a 97 Upper Deck game jersey of Michael Jordan, you might want to look at it and get it graded. Just, just little words to go back through your stuff because I was talking to Joey today about this, and he didn't know about this website, so I figured a lot of people might not. But... I need to go through my books because I might have this, and it has the card. No oh, it's autographed, too. I don't have the autograph. That's just the one thing I wanted to say look up at. Make sure you guys are checking the variations on this stuff because a lot of times you think it's just a regular jersey. Now, I did for the longest time today. So I just put my dunce cap on. It's the autograph one. So if you have that autographed jersey from here, you're talking some crazy money that's being made onto it. Let's go back. You guys, sorry for you guys here to pug snoring. Um, there's a Durant exquisite. But you could go through here, and a lot of times you'll be in shock by some of this stuff that you see. You're like, how is that that price? Until you look at it, gold prism. That's what that is. Gold prism Giannis rookie card. No kidding. $420,000 for PSA 10. You just never know what you have at home. And I usually catch Jordan stuff onto here because I got so much Jordan stuff that I collected through the years. It just brings back like, wow, I wonder what this is worth and everything else. But like I said, I originally I thought that was the actual Jordan jersey card until I read. And that's why I say you got to pay attention when you read this. It's the autograph up here for variation. But still, that's some crazy money for that stuff. Craziness. But if you guys are already a member of this, you guys know it and everything like that. I've always loved their website, and it's just always been a good tool for card shows for me and everything else to where I don't have to burn out my phone. Um, just really great stuff. I mean, when you're looking at, like, hockey is another one I've been always digging into. I can go through here and see what the top 25 cards are. It's being sold. And I start thinking, do I have any of this stuff? Because right now might be a time to move it. And then I move. I never really look at hot. I look at cold all the time. Because I like to see what's cold out there that I might be able to pick up and make, you know, hold for a long run on this stuff. Not saying it's the best thing to do, but I mean like Austin Matthews canvas. And I believe, yep, this is just a regular. Okay. This is his rookie year, Young Guns canvas. I got like three or four of these. No joke. They're selling at $919. I never knew that. Not autograph, nothing else. You can come down here, click on it. And that's your PSA 10s. They've gone up. They used to be sitting around, this is where I knew them at, around like the two high twos, $300 mark. Now all of a sudden, Austin Matthews stuff is just insane in price. And you can start looking one did just end at 685, but it could just be a bad listing on to it. It might not be, but like I said, here's where I knew them at 290s. And then they just shot up in price. So just stuff to look at. It makes you start doing some market anal analysts and nah, now nah, I can't even say it. Market research, we'll call it, on your own. And you can just start really finding stuff out there and jumping the gun onto stuff that other people might not have or you might have in your collection. And you're like, man, I might need to get that graded. It, it's been sitting in a top loader since I pulled it. And you might think raw-wise, this might be like $75 card. And unless you're really following Austin Matthews stuff, you'd never know. So I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. We're going to use this on um, Friday. On overtimes, I want to hit some different cards up onto it. At the same time frame, I want to talk about a new product dropping in July. And it, it some of you guys might have heard about it, but it, it, I don't know. I think it's going to have some bang for the buck. I don't know how much it's going to shoot up from 
retail value. But if they have two autographs in that product, this stuff is going to go stupid crazy. Stupid crazy. So we'll talk about that product on Friday too. All right, everybody. I've been blabbing a little bit too long here. Like I said, hopefully the microphones sound a lot better because now I can move my head and go around not worrying about, oh, I got to pull the mic this way and stuff. But I think I fixed it earlier. It took me a couple hours to figure out it was one little button it was clicked on here, I believe. But other than that, everybody, have a good Wednesday. Don't forget, overtime, 11 p.m. Eastern on uh, Friday night. If you can't make it, catch the uh, a replay of it because we're going to go over some stuff on VCP, and I want to talk this new product. And it, we have not seen this product since, ooh, I want to say 19... 98 roughly around there i'd have to look it up it might even have been earlier I i'm not even too sure i'm gonna have to do a little research on but it was definitely a 90s product that's coming back and it's not pro set football i'll tell you that now it's not pro set football all right you guys take care see you all friday night